What's up, Cancer? We're going to be doing your weekly reading for July 13th to the 19th. This is a general reading, so if it does not resonate, please check out your sun, moon, and rising sign. For this reading, I'm going to be doing the past, present, future spread that I always do for the weeklies. I'm going to do it with uh, Sierra Marchetti tarot decks, okay? So this is his retrospective deck, and then this is his Marchetti tarot. So if you want either of these decks, they are not linked down below, but you can find them on his website directly. There is only limited print of them, so have a jump on it if you do want them because they're really nice. I love them. So let's get into it. Um, just so you guys know, I am accepting personal readings. If you want a personal reading, I do hour long and 30 minute readings, both live and recorded. You can check out my website, leadbylight.com in the description box down below to book your session. Okay, so let's get into it. Cancer, let's see what's going on with you. Show me what you need to see for Cancer, please, spirit. <clears throat> for July 13th to the 19th. So when I was tapping into the water sign energies, ironically enough, they showed me like a massive tidal wave. And I've been having a lot of like personal experiences with Poseidon, so and that's what that reminded me of. So let's let's see what's going on. I'm eager for the water signs because this feels some goodies coming out, some really powerful energies, whether good or bad, it just feels very nice. Wow, yeah. Ending some tough cycles, ten of swords, and the fool. <laughs> decided to pop out. So let's see what's going on, Cancer. Show me what I need to see for my Cancer, please, spirit. Guys, really? High Priestess. Let me shuffle. What do we got for Cancer for July 13th to the 19th, please, spirit? Show me what I need to see for Cancer. I'm gonna do one more shuffle, and then we're gonna split it. <clears throat> yeah, one more. I want a better one. There we go. Real nice one. Two of cups, hot damn. Okay. Show me what I need to see for Cancer. July 13th to the 19th. July 13th to the 19th. Past, present, future. Ooh, keep, keep it on up there, girl. Wow. Okay. Um, you have a lot of powerful energies for sure. A lot of powerful energies for sure, Cancer. Okay, so your overall energy is the force so underneath it, the fool, exactly. Wow, and then temperance, wow. Okay, so your overall energy is the four swords in reverse and then the fool. I feel like you're coming out of retirement. That's really what this feels like. Coming out of rest, coming out of a time of a lot of solitude where things were really slow, time where you need to do some healing before you can take the step into this new cycle. I do think that the last few months have been pretty heavy for you, Cancer. I do. It's it's been like an emotional roller coaster. This Four of Swords energy. If you took advantage of that Four of Swords, that that rest, rejuvenation, the timeout, the stagnancy that was going on, it's going to work in your benefit, right? If not, you know, check in with yourself and do a lot of self care. Um, make sure you're not go go going right now. I feel a really big need to say that. Make sure you're not doing too much. In your recent past, you have the Three of Cups in reverse, the Devil in reverse, and Death in reverse. Some of you are just leaving a lot of toxic relationships behind because they don't serve who you are anymore because you've gone through a massive transformation with death in reverse. The devil, that's a massive transformation, releasing toxicity. And the three of cups, it could be soul tribe. It could be people that you were dealing with, right? Things that resonate with you on a very emotional level. Could also be a partnership that you left behind. That's also part of the soul tribe, right? Current situation, knight of swords, ten of cups, and the magician. I feel like all you want is happiness. You're just trying to bring it in. You're trying to manifest it. You're trying to call it toward you. Very, very diligently is what I really want to say. It's like, this is all you're focused on. What can I do to achieve my happiness? How can I create it? And you're really, you're manifesting it like crazy because you very much so understand emotions, right? That what we think, what we perceive, um, what we say, how we feel all creates our reality. Sorry guys, my, it's windy here. I just got inside and my hair just feels a mess. Um, <clears throat> immediate future, you have the star in reverse, six of cups, and the hierophant. You're thinking a lot about the past and what's in a missed opportunity, and if it's, and if it's, and it's almost like if you're thinking like, is it okay that I missed the opportunity, or is that like a make it or break it moment, especially with the hierophant here, that's really what I feel with this hierophant. Is it okay that I missed that opportunity? Did I still learn the lesson? I don't think you missed the opportunity. Yeah, I'm hearing second chances. I don't think you missed the opportunity at all. I don't. 
I think that the past is going to come back around real quick. So if you think that you missed something, it's coming back. It's coming back. Show me what I need to see for Cancer, please, Spirit, for July 13th to the 19th. July 13th to the 19th for Cancer. Why is the Four of Swords the overall energy for Cancer for July 13th to the 19th? Wow. Yeah. Time to rest and rejuvenate because you're about to be building your own empire here. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is also telling me that for those of you that haven't taken time to rest, now's the time because this lack of stability and independence here is what's actually standing in between of this brand new beginning, that fool energy from coming through, right? And this is what we want. We want the brand new beginning, but there's a need to become stable as an individual, not be reliant on other people. I feel a really big need to say not to find validation through others. We don't need connections, relationships in order to find validation that comes from within you. Because the Nine of Pentacles is the independent single person card, right? As someone who knows how to support themselves, love themselves, nourish themselves, nurture themselves. And with the Four of Swords in reverse, there's a need for that. There's a lot of need for self-care here to take care of yourself, your own stability, your own finances, your own mental state. <clears throat> Let's talk about the Three of Cups. Why am I losing my voice with this all of a sudden? <clears throat> Three of Cups is clarified by the Hangman. So we have the Hangman in reverse here. I want to say they took too long. Whoever it was you were waiting on, they took too long. Yeah, Six of Wands in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse, King of Cups in reverse. There's your person. King of Cups in reverse, emotionally closed off. It wasn't moving forward, it was a stalemate. Yeah, waiting, just, it just it took too long for whoever this was, whether it was a, a soulmate connection with the King of Cups or whether it was um, a soul tribe, multiple people like friends and family. It feels very romantic, I'm just gonna be honest. This feels romantic. It feels like you were waiting for somebody for a long time to just step up and present themselves emotionally what they really want from you, from this connection. And there you were, just waiting. Hangman in reverse, right? <clears throat> I want to see what this devil is. Capricorn energy in the recent past. Why is the devil here? The world in reverse, the five of cups and the moon. The stagnancy. It was just creating too much. It was just making you so upset. With the five of cups, that's like, um, that's someone who's, Five of Cups is kind of like Three of Swords to me, honestly. It's kind of like broken heart, disappointed, just feeling very lack emotionally. And it's because of what's unknown, the illusions, things that weren't said, things that weren't done. Pisces energy with the moon, Five of Cups, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scor Scorpio, and the world. Um, the stagnancy, the world in reverse, the, the lack of movement forward here. I don't know why this is like bringing my energy down so much. I was like so lively before and now I just... I feel dead, you know, I, I just kind of feel bleh. And there's that, releasing it, because it, it was just binding, you were stuck in it, you didn't like being stuck, you didn't like feeling bound to this person in this situation, so I feel that you walked away. Let's check out death in reverse, we have death in the reverse in the recent past. One card for cancer, yeah, the four of cups in reverse, queen of pentacles in reverse, page of cups, ten of pentacles in justice. This person didn't know how to open up emotionally, which is why they couldn't create any form of stability. Any form of stability. With Justice and the Ten of Pentacles, both in reverse, that's a lot of instability. And with the Page of Cups, it's all surrounded around the fact that they're emotionally immature. They don't know how to open up. They don't know how to express themselves. And that's why it had to end. And with Death in the Reverse, it, there was a lot of resistance to allowing this to end because you did want to accept their love, right? They saw you as the perfect partner, you were the perfect partner, but it wasn't bringing any stability for you as the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. So let's check out the Ten of Cups in the current situation. I think that's why it was really hard to walk away with Death in the Reverse. Wow, Ten of Cups with the Ten of Swords. Two Tens, completion. Completing massive cycles. I told you, there's some powerful energies here. I feel like you just waited and waited. This feels very long. This feels like a very long time with this person. For some of you, you probably weren't even talking for years, to be honest. And now this person wants to come back around. I 
I don't like this. This Ten of Swords on this Ten of Cups. It's almost like, it's like heart wrenching. It's like you recognize the love, right? You accepted the pain, you healed from the pain, and now they're coming back and it's all resurfacing. And all you're trying to do is be happy. All you're trying to do is manifest this happiness for yourself. Yeah, star in reverse, the fool again, three of wands waiting again, and the eight of pentacles, the lack of effort being put into this. You're waiting for so long for this person to come and make the effort, and now that you've detached, now that you've completed it, now that you've released it, ended it, walked away, whatever you consider your ending, right? They see the missed opportunity, and they want to come back. I think you were manifesting happiness in general, but it actually called this person, and I don't think you were manifesting this specific person, because this feels like it catches you very off guard. So let's check out the Knight of Swords, because they're coming in quick. It could also be you very um, cutting and guarded toward them. Could be you being very cutting and guarded toward them. <laughs> Queen of Wands energy, it's definitely you. <clears throat> it's definitely you. This is fire energy. This is also my divine feminine for master manifester, which goes hand in hand with the magician energy that we have here. This is you for sure. <clears throat> you manifested them. I don't think you were planning on manifesting them in particular, right? Because we don't manifest specific people, but you are manifesting love. You're manifesting happiness. And this might be what you acquainted with love and happiness on a soul level because it's what it was familiar with, right? Um... And also, these cycles needed to be completed with the Ten of Swords and Ten of Cups. This needs to be closed out in order for the Fool to come in. Because two tens, that's massive completion, and the world, and death. And now you have the Fool twice. It had, to, it had to resurface because something was not finished here. So let's talk about the Knight of Swords, what they want with this Queen of Wands. Because they're coming at you. Wow, yeah, they're coming at you. Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, and Two of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Wands, Two of Wands. So in between that is the Six of Wands. Wow, well, yeah, they want the victory with you. The Eight of Wands, the Two of Wands. The Six of Wands is between that. The energy between these two cards is a true motive for them. That Six of Wands, the victory, right? And they know it. There's no more indecision. There's no more second guessing with that Two of Pentacles there. But that's what this communication is about. That's what this action they're taking towards you is about. Eight of Wands is a lot of action with the Knight of Swords. That's very fast action. It's very clear-cut communication. I can feel you kind of like... Bring it on. I'm waiting. I am waiting. Is it time for me to whoop your ass? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, two of cups in reverse. Yeah. The <laughs> the separation between you, I really don't think that, it's not even that you're angry, it's just like, I know my power. I know what I'm capable of. You really wanna try this with me again? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I feel for most of you, it's just not gonna happen. With whoever this is, this feels very old. This feels very old like years for some of you old. Let's talk about the magician in the current situation for cancer. The king of pentacles. Wow, we got true pair on the board. Yeah, you're manifesting a long-term stable, um, perfect partner energy and your person from the past decided to show up, especially with that six of cups energy we have on the board. They, in the two of cups in reverse, there's an imbalance here you're not open to it, accepting this from this person, and I think it's because of the pain. The unrequited love in the past is actually the blockage here, and that's the Ten of Swords around the Ten of Cups that needs to be healed. That's why they came back when you were trying to manifest this. Yep, Chariot. Cancer energy. There you are. There you are. You manifested this. I don't, you didn't do it intentionally. I know that, I know you didn't, but in order to have the love that you do want, the 10 of cups you want, this cycle has to be closed and it's not closed yet. You need to release the old to bring in the new. And that could be a new form with this person and that's very much so what this is looking like on their end. On your end, there's a lot of resistance to this because the chariot in reverse, that's cancer energy, it's in reverse. That's you out of your power, out of balance. And it's with your energy, the queen of pentacles, out of balance, ungrounded, right? Earth energy with your King of Pentacles, the perfect partner card. That's what you're manifesting. And they're here. And it's just in a light that it's presenting itself through somebody that you don't see in a high light. And I think that's what's making this very difficult because there's a lot of self, not even self doubt. There's just a lot of doubt in this connection from the history of it. Yeah, star in reverse. Wow, yeah, there you are. 
do I take this opportunity? Do I not take this opportunity? Thinking about it, thinking about it. Is this the second chance? Do I want this? Do I not want this? The star in reverse Aquarius energy with the seven of pentacles and the eight of swords. There's a lot of overthinking. Do I want to invest in this connection or do I just want to accept the missed opportunity? Do I want the second chance or do I want to let it go? The star in reverse is also like your dreams. It's a lot of divinity. It's, it's what you wish for. And now it's here and it's, it's creating a lot of Eight of Swords energy, very stuck in your head energy. Aquarius energy. You have Aquarius twice there with the Eight of Swords and the Star card. Virgo energy with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, check out the Six of Cups. Let's see what you're thinking about from the past or your person. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here for Cancer? For July 13th to the 19th. Ooh, I'm hearing resilience and resurrection. Wow, you won't believe the two cards that came out. I'm not gonna show them yet. I wanna get one more on this. Yeah, all you are thinking about is who this person was in the past. This makes my stomach turn, oh, because this is exactly the past. If we literally have the devil. I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you. We're just gonna tilt this bad boy down. So you have the devil in reverse, right? So the devil in reverse in the recent past, right? So that's the reverse for me. And then in the immediate future, what do we get again? The devil in reverse. You're thinking of them in the form they were in the past, not the form that they're presenting themselves in now, right? Um, and all that's doing is, is triggering all this heartache again, which is that Ten of Swords energy you feel currently. So you have the Emperor, the Devil, and the Three of Swords, a very controlling, very bond, uh, binding, very domineering, very toxic, very my way or the highway kind of energy. And it's just, I don't, this is making me sick. Um, this is almost like that. It's the Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups all over again. It's just triggering all that pain for you to deal with. This has to, this is, this is the cycle. This is the cycle of the past because you're going to start looping if you don't release it. You need to get out of the Eight of Swords energy because staying in, in the head is actually just feeding this. It's feeding it. Because all you're thinking about is all the lies, how they played games, mind games, how they manipulated you with their words. And they're coming back now trying to show you that they can give you something stable, but you need to heal, right? You need to heal. You need to be confident in who you are before you can enter in a connection with somebody, whether it be this person or another. Let's check out why the Hierophant is here for Cancer. Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Jupiter energy. Talk about second chances. It's literally the card of gifts, surprises, sudden events good luck good fortune give me one more on the hierophant because the hierophant's indicative of marriage long-term commitment soul contracts being completed or fulfilled and that might be exactly what this is wow <laughs> okay i want one more i want one more on this i actually for some reason want to take from the top yeah i figured nine of cups in reverse okay we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess on the board. Talk about a true pair, holy shit. That's like the true pair of spirituality. So, I feel like this is fulfillment of a soul contract, recognizing that this isn't what makes you happy anymore and that's actually what propels you forward. I think for a long time you might have been hoping and wishing, daydreaming for this person to kind of come back and apologize. What? Bottom of the deck, lovers in reverse, yeah. So as I was saying, you were thinking for a long time, I want this person to come back. I want them to apologize. I want them to be there for me. I want, I want to fix this, right? And you got past that point and it got to your healing period. And as soon as you got past that point, that's when there was an energetic space for this person to finally come in and approach you. And now that they did, you're very much over it, but the pain, there was still very suppressed pain there. And that's what they came back for. They came back to trigger that. So they triggered that pain so you can close out the cycle and get the new beginning and continue your movement forward. I like it. 
it doesn't feel fun but it's putting you in the right direction like it needs to be done it's very much so necessary cancer I hope this doesn't resonate, to be honest. I hope it does, because that'd be great if it resonates for people, but if you're going through this, I wish you the best. I wish you healing. Um, if you want a personal reading to look into more detail on your specific situation, go ahead, book down below through my website. Um, but I wanna get out of this energy, so I love you guys. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.